Hello, this is Bishop again, and this is another test of the 17.26.76 firmware. Uh, I'm taking a little bit of a mountain trip today, and I figured I would give you guys something a little bit more scenic to look at than the suburbs of Denver that I typically have in my videos. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, it didn't quite pan out as well as I was hoping. So instead of this being a nice picturesque afternoon drive through the mountains on autopilot, Instead, I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of how well the autopilot works on a rainy day in the mountains. So as you can see, uh, it is slowing down on these turns to as low as just below 30 miles per hour. It's doing a reasonably good job of keeping the lane. It is occasionally drifting over too far to the center, in my opinion. Um, but the biggest issue that I see with the autopilot right now, although it's, it's doing okay on these turns, and we'll see how it goes on some of these subsequent turns. Um, this might end up being a short clip because we're about to come up on a 50 mile per hour segment. Unfortunately, the autopilot is still not reading speed limit signs, which means um, since there is no GPS data for the particular highway that I'm on in the Colorado Rockies, um, I am currently capped to five miles per hour below the speed limit, which is probably gonna cause some consternation for the drivers that are behind me. So keep going until somebody comes up behind me. Right now it's doing a pretty good job of the lane keeping. And so far on this particular stretch, it hasn't had any issue with, I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit and disengage. It hasn't had any issue with slowing down too aggressively. Although one thing that I was seeing on a lot of these windy mountain roads is it was doing, it was slowing down to speeds that were, in my opinion, below acceptable for the posted speed limit. For instance, on some of the roads on Highway 24 coming up, the corners were relatively blind and the car was slowing down in an area where the posted speed limit was around 55 miles per hour. The car was slowing down to as little as like 25 miles per hour in some of the turns. Um, granted, I kind of understand where the car was coming from and right now what I'm doing is I'm actually, I want to see what the tack does. Um, for some of these turns. Unfortunately, the car is in front of me right now, so it's not a clean test. But I understand why the car was slowing down as much as it was. The turns were relatively blind, but this may be an instance where autopilot, at least in its current incarnation, doesn't necessarily have the same intuition or context that a human driver would have. So, yes, on tight, windy mountain roads that are um, in heavily wooded areas, the corners themselves are relatively blind, but in those scenarios, a driver, a normal human driver, would generally make an assumption that because the how isolated these roads are, the fact that there are no pedestrian pathways anywhere near these roads, that even though you don't necessarily have 100% visibility coming around a corner, that the corner is going to be relatively clear, except for you know extreme circumstances of maybe wildlife that's run into the road or falling rocks that are blocking the road. Autopilot doesn't really seem to pick up on that, so based on just how blind the corners were, it was being overly cautious and slowing down very, very very aggressively. Um, I'm going to cut this clip short and then I'm going to start a new clip once I get to a more interesting section of road. But thanks for watching.